it's back. The Supreme scooter is back for some more modifications, a couple unmodifications, but we'll get into that soon. Alright, so we're back with the scooter here. If you haven't checked the original video of this, it's in the pop-up above or check it out in the description down below. While you're down there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the video. But what we're doing today is we are installing the Molossi 125cc Big Bull Kit, taking this scooter from 100cc up to 125cc. Now for the unmodifications, a little bit of backstory. Since you guys last saw the scooter, it has changed owners and along with that comes a few changes. Firstly, we're going to be removing the extended swing arm. We're going to be basically turning this back into a stock B-Wiz stance wise, as well as removing the extension on the shock. We won't need that anymore. When we move the engine back into place, we're also going to be moving the carb to face in the original direction, which is basically 45 degrees out here. And we'll still run the cone filter as well as the Molossi 22 millimeter carb. Now that you know what we're doing, let's start stripping. So it's all stripped and it's ready for basically the next step. But what are we going to have to do, Dad? Okay, so we're going to get rid of uh, the longer cable. We've got the standard cable length here. You can see this one's quite a bit longer. We're going to remove all the cabling, the wires, harness, anything that's attached from the frame to the motor we're going to take off. We need to get to the brackets at the top here from the extension. So basically, we're just going to shift this whole thing forward again. bike is tripped a little further and what I've done is I've just removed the brake cable the for the rear brake shoes and uh, what we're going to do now is we're basically going to disconnect the shock disconnect the mounts over here basically we're going to just leave the engine on the center stand we're going to put a temporary center stand in and uh, then we can work on the cylinder head so let's get to that Starting with this exhaust pipe, we have to remove this so we can get to the cylinder kit. This is an awesome Pincus racing pipe made here locally in South Africa. Clamping off the oil feed pipe so nothing leaks before taking off the engine cooling shrouds so we have access to the barrel. Say hello to shock dog Winston before we head over to the shock, removing the shock first and then the stage 640mm extension. We won't be reusing this. Finally, we get to remove the extended swing arm. So take off these bolts and leave them on the engine. We'll remove them later. So the engine is on the other bench now so we can actually get to it. You can see this thing is filthy. The oil pump is also a bit dirty so we're going to have to just check that because I think it was sticking open. So we are going to take off this uh, extended swing arm and then we're going to get onto the cylinder. Alright, now that the engine's on the bench, I've given it a little bit of a clean. Next up, we're going to remove the old barrel and cylinder head and put the Molossi one on. So first things first, I'm going to take out the spark plug. We've running, we're running a, I think it's a BP8 HS. So the BWS 100 comes with a BP7, but that's a bit too hot for our climate. So this is a BP8 HS. How does it look? A little rich, I think. Rather richer than leaner. Let's take off the cylinder head. Oh my way, this is tiring. I need an electric one. Ooh, it's a bit wet. Very wet. But we'll give this a clean. Let's check the piston. So, 
Not a TDC. Pretty carboned up. But anyway, let's see if this comes off smoothly. Probably won't. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a little bit of score in there. Looks like it's got a bit of a seize and break loose. You see that? So it looks like it's uh, kind of either cold seized or seized and broke loose. Um, so it's got some scoring on there. The barrel doesn't look too bad. It's hard to see, it's a bit dark. Yeah, not too bad. Anyway, there's the piston. Uh, we're gonna remove this, obviously put it on the Molossi one, so it doesn't matter, but it's interesting to see uh, that it's obviously scored it up a little bit. Oh, well, I'm gonna put a new circuit in anyway. This is, there we go. Ah! Okay. There we go. Mm. The top ring's loose. Bottom one is a bit stuck. It's stuck in here, that's not that good, so. Now onto the exciting stuff. We've got the Molossi 125cc kit here. So let's unbox this and then start prepping it for the motor. First up, we've got the barrel. Oh, and the piston. Check it that. Nice. And here's the piston, machined aluminium and cast iron barrel. Looks pretty good. We've got our gudgeon pin, our circlips, our new circlips. It comes with some reed petals, but as you know, we are running the VL14 already in the scooter, so we're not gonna put this in there. And then obviously your head gasket and base gasket and then an exhaust gasket, but we don't need this exhaust gasket, so we'll just run the base and head. So the one thing about Molossi's rings is it doesn't have a direction, so you can actually put it any way, whereas the standard has a bit of a direction. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna basically oil up everything, prep it with uh, the rings, just lubricate everything so that when it does start up for the first time, it's all lubricated, it's not gonna seize. Great. All right, I got some two-stroke oil here. This is, uh, I think this is Yamalube, and we're gonna just coat, oh my gosh. We're gonna coat the inside of this. Okay, so now it's nice and wet. Now we're gonna prep the piston by putting on one circlip, which I hate and I can never do. Where's my pliers? There we go. And then you wanna push this one down. And then you wanna rotate the ring away from the gap. There we go. We're gonna lube up the gudgeon pin, give it a nice massage. And we're gonna slip that in. Lube up this side as well. Doesn't hurt, you know, two stroke oil. Okay. Now we're gonna push it back for when we put it on the, the, what do you call it? The crank. Cool, all prepped and ready to go. Right, we're gonna start with the gasket. So just remember, this may look symmetrical, but it's not, I learned that the hard way. So, we're gonna see, oh, what am I doing? I don't wanna break it. Okay, there's a seat. Now, if you have a look over here, there's actually a little bit of a curve and no curve on this side. So make sure you put the base gasket the correct way around. Now comes the fun part, putting on the piston. So we've got the intake ports and we've got the arrow facing the exhaust, which is at the bottom. So let's put our piston on, push our gudgeon pin through here we go all the way to our circlip i think this was supposed to be like there there we go so we are putting on the barrel now so we just want to just lubricate the piston a little bit over the rings doesn't hurt oh and we're gonna pinch the rings oh my word it's like it was made meant to be okay check the gasket here and then there we go nicely seated let's wipe away the excess oil and we're good look at that give it a little bit of a cycle pretty good all right now for the cylinder head copper gasket head gasket which way does this go this way you can only go two ways this way and 180 degrees and that's not me trying to be smart and then this goes like that Ta-da! Okay, now for the nuts. They're a little bit dirty, so let's just get 
give them a little, a little rinsing. Oh my word, look at that. It's like a machine, a magic machine. Well, it's like they came out like, they're like brand new again. Not quite, but close enough, right? And we're going to put these on and then we're going to torque them down. All right, so we're starting with the torque wrench now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Newton meters. We're going to go to seven first. What the hell? Okay, okay we're going to go to seven and do a round of that first. Got our 10 mil socket. Cool, now we're gonna go to 14. No, I lie. We're gonna go back to seven because we need to listen to dad's advice and go three times. I don't feel the movement yet, but I trust him. You know what? This is just therapeutic, just hearing that click. Oh, that one moved more. Maybe I just gained extra torque, I don't know. Now we're gonna go to all the way to 14. So which is between 13 and 15, which is one. And we go again three times. Oh my gosh. There we go. I was almost there. And we're done. Okay, spark plug going in the BP8HS. So we're just gonna hand tighten this one. And then we take our trusty plug socket and we take our trusty 24 and we just give it a little nip. There we go. Done. Did you see something wrong? Cool, we're gonna put the swing arm back together again. So we've got two circuits here that we need to get on. Go a bit lower, I don't know, appear tall on camera, yeah? Okay. Right, everything's back together. One of the next things we need to do is we need to swivel this intake manifold back into its original position. Because obviously, if you remember in the other video, we had the carb facing directly forward. But traditionally on this motor, the intake's gonna sit almost at a 45 here. So we wanna basically rotate this. This is the top performance 360 degree uh, intake manifold. So what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna just rotate it to where we think it's gonna work basically around about there and make sure that it's pressed in again and then we can reinstall it also this is the vl14 lossy reed valve that we're running and we installed that in the last video so let's put this back on close her up and we can put the engine back in Okay, so the motor's back in, as you can see, shock is connected. And now time to fit the carburetor. But we have a bit of an issue. So this is the top performance 360 degree intake manifold. And unfortunately, the carb, how it's sitting now, doesn't fit. Um, it doesn't fit through this gap. So we won't be able to run this. However, this carb kit does normally come with an intake manifold. This is the Melossi intake manifold that comes with the carburetor. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna swap that one for this one and it should all fit. Oh, all right. So it's good as done, all back together. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start it, get a little test ride, see how it runs, we'll go from there. It's 
Thank you so much guys for watching. If you did enjoy this build, give it a like, give it a comment. Let me know what you think of this scooter. Let me know what scooters you guys have in the comments down below. I'll check you in the next one.